in the last video you said that you thought Juno Temple, who plays Lola in Atonement, should play Ashley. And I was wondering if you were confused and thinking that she should play Mia off, because Juno Temple's pretty and all, but there's something about her eyes and her nose and just, I guess, her general demeanor that don't speak, like, passive innocence to me, like Ashling has. Um, so I don't see her as Ashling, actually. I think it's just maybe because she did such a good job in Atonement. But I remember when I was doing an Atonement project in my senior year that I was looking at pictures of her from her official website. And it was kind of... Like, she just has, like, she's very pretty. And in a way, she kind of has an ordinary look. Um, you know, like, you could meet her on the street and you wouldn't know she was famous. But at the same time, her eyes kind of speak this wildness. Um, not wildness like Sorka and Leiden have, but, like, wildness as in, like, partying or something? I don't know. Maybe just because of atonement and um, when I saw her in um, Notes on a Scandal, she was kind of a little bit of a brat. It seems like she's really good at playing a brat role. And Ashling isn't a brat. She's just this really sweet, passive girl. And um, she reminds me of Melody in Gone with the Wind and Sonia Rostovo in War and Peace. And it's she's kind of a boring character. And Juno Temple, to me, doesn't seem boring. You could see her as Neov, though. Also, mentioning Neov, there's this actor, actress called Rose Byrne. And I think she'd be too old to play Neov. But, like, she's young enough looking um, that she could play her, I think. And she looks really good with red hair. When you read I Capture the Castle, which is one of the books I lent you, I'd like you to see that the comparisons between Rose and Neov, because they, they're both characters with red hair and kind of, like, a little boy crazy, it seems. Um, so it'd be great for you to, like, see the comparisons. And then if you watch the movie, movie Rose Byrne plays the character Rose that... I'm talking that you should compare me up and Rose to. So besides needing to read I Captured the Castle Bath, um, which you can do anytime during the summer, obviously, I think that when you're done watching this video, you should listen to this singer called Katie Mal Malua. She came out with a single called The Flood um, last week in the UK, and her CD The House came out yesterday in the UK, but we don't get the CD in the US till um, August. I'm going to post a link to her appearance on the Graham Norton show, which is not the full song, but the music video is really good, but kind of distracting because it's half-naked men running around. And so I would say watch the Graham Norton thing and then watch the actual music video for it so that you can listen to the words because the tone of the music and the words in the song The Flood um, are very... I just, they just remind me a lot of the Seven Wars trilogy. When I heard it on Graham Norton on Saturday. I was just like, oh my god, this, you know, if you were going to make a movie out of this and you really wanted kind of to do the thing that they did in Lord of the Rings after every movie, which was to get a um, song, this artist could either use this song or write a song that was similar to it. Um, so check that out. Also, I'm going to post another link to one of her other videos called I'd Love to Kill You. I think you'll enjoy it. So Beth, my other assignment for you, and feel free to assign me things to do, is to look at the video The Toyn by The Decemberists. It's based on the story of the to Toyn Bo Cooley, I think that's how you say it, um, which is an Irish legend. We had to read it in Portuguese class. Um, it's 21 minutes long. It's not on YouTube, but I'll post a link in the status. Um, so you should watch it. Um, watch it in installments if you need to, because, like I said, it's 21 minutes long, and it kind of get lost, gets lost on you so if you haven't read the toy book Cooley, um, and you don't need to go and do that. It's just... I think you'll enjoy it. They have um, Mev, who's... They mentioned in the Seven Waters trilogy. So, an Irish mythology lesson for you. Now that just looks quite Victorian, doesn't it? Or, like, that's, like, a vest. There's a vest I saw like this at Forever 21. There's a picture of me on Facebook in that vest, too. Really quickly, I'm going to show some pictures I found that remind me of the Seven Waters trilogy. One of them was actually the cover of Child's Prophecy for the Australian version, which uses pre raphaelite paintings, which most of these are, except for the last two, which are watercolors from um, more modernistic period. So please watch and enjoy and 
comment on what you think about the images. Bye!